still in lower so let's see i change it to one and i'm in third class you see now let me change this to 0 0.00 and see what happened i'm in the pass range and let's make this also a 0 0.99 and let's see still in pass i'm now in the fill region so it actually tells you wherever you are at any point in time and it gives you meaning to what your performance is so if you are just level 100 and you've just done your first semester then you just have to click one if you've done your two semesters level 100 just do two then three now if i click just one remember this values are there but immediately i select one it doesn't care about them it only cares about this now this is 2.42 see what happens because it's one semester it's cumulative it's still one semester so you see it gives me exactly what is here 2.142 then i check his class so see the data is still there but it doesn't use it so long as the option here is one it just uses one so this system is quite intelligent and very smart so now I can clear all and input new data okay so that's the cumulative gpa for more than one semester so we can close it for now or just better still hide it on the taskbar then i'll go to final gpa and this is for only level 400 that is because they are going to graduate and they finish writing all their semester exams and at this point this is where the university does your weighting of your GPS, and in the previous system it goes as 20 percent level 240 40 for 300 and 400 and it's 442 system level 100 is not scoring so you just do the cumulative yes over here cumulative for two semesters so if first semester 3.6 five six then remember i still have something i can paste 3.59 good so say level 200 this is what i had i can still copy this okay then come to the tax bar look for where the final gp is click it then i paste it here that is it so my final gp for level 200 for both semesters is this then i can still come back say for level 300 is different scores let's say 2 point i find this cumulative then see i pick it to copy then i paste it in the final so this is when you have actually finished all your semesters so i enter say 4.9 it doesn't even allow me so 3.9 so this is when you are home and you have received your grades and results and everything and you want to actually know the final gpa you get and the class you'll be graduating with so this is for level 400 and this is where the waiting is done so with this system you click on the fgpa then classroom tells you second class upper so you know okay i'm graduating with a second class upper with this my gps over the 200 for 300 and 400 clear or then you close so that is how the fgp works now one thing you should notice if i pop out a form see i cannot change anything here i am trying to type something here if you can hear my keyboard but nothing is entering because here is not for you to edit it's just for you to what get the information so you cannot change your total or your gp or come and change your class you can't do that you can only change what is here yeah immediately i change see what happens total changes gp change but i cannot change it here with my own keys and with my own fingers so this system is quite intelligent and brilliant so that is it so first remember this form gives you the opportunity to calculate your gp for a semester based on the number of courses you took from five to ten or even less than five it will still do it for you 
then if you want to get your cumulative gps for all the semesters remember you come to cumulative gpa and you do that then if you are in 400 and you are going to graduate use this to do your final gp so that is it now the little tips is this open your pdf results and use it to enter your grades just use the mouse to select your grades as you can see you just use the mouse always click on the buttons until they do not change if you make any new change all right then cgpa stands for cumulative gp the average of all your gps at any point in time and fgp stands for final gp or cgp up to the final semester then just click explore and enjoy so jc then keep it simple or stupid kids then htcc the android phone stands for fit the cell so those are some few tips then we have the about the author so this is the picture of the author and this is my motto is aspire to acquire the desire you admire if you misfire never retire but rather you fire for you have a messiah who will lift you higher perspire and you will reach higher child perspire solomon Bushi. this is the software was designed by solomon analy Bushi, a level 300 student of the premier world class university of ghana Egon, yeah he studies computer science statistics and math attended st thomas aquinas and the main reason for developing this software to help students to avoid stress stress and uncertainty related to their academic work in terms of their gp and also to tell everybody that the computer science department is not a disappointment by a foundation on which every student must build upon everything is depend on how you see it and know what everybody sees and be ready to prove them wrong by making a difference so that is a little piece about me and my advice so this system is a complete system that helps you to monitor your performance and you can use it from level 100 all the way to level 400 and even when you are in the house you can use it good so that is the student's companion for every university student so i'll call this system and this GPA calculator as the student companion calculator, student GPA calculator, you use it to monitor yourself. And one more thing, when you come to the new system, it's just the same thing. But what you realize is different is that over here, the grades are different. There's no A minus, you see, there's no B minus. So that tells you are in the what, new grading system. And one important thing about this system is that I can ask myself okay if i want to get first class how many a's should i get how many b's okay so if i get at least two a's okay it helps you to predict and formulate which grades you should get and how what class range you for so say i get two a's and i get b plus two b plus or three what is my gpa 3.7 and that is second class up uh, quite um steep over there so if i want to get first class then at least i should get two a's uh, three a's and two b's then i'm in first class so in case i get all b all to be b plus b plus b plus where do i fall the software tells you tells you in second class of a 3.5 okay so in case i also get c plus and c plus two c plus and three where do i fall second class lower in case i get a d a single d where do i fall second class lower if i get two d's where do i fall class wow then if i get two b's and all is where do i fall second class lower so actually the b's have pulled your grades down so at least get one a if a d will push you down because you are still up in the upper so this you can use this to actually monitor and 
credit the grades that if you get where you will fall so you know that okay at least i should get some three a's get some three b's or get this to get this grade so you can use this exam to generate your own strength and fit at least so before you write your exams you say this one i have to get a a this one I have to get a minus if at least i should get this uh, it keeps you updated it keeps you motivated it keeps you 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 abreast that is the word good so that is it so that's the beauty of this this system and with everything that i've said all you have to do is just use it every time you want to so you come here you know where you fall where you don't have to fall and i hope and if you enjoyed this tutorial if there is any question try and find out from the system it is an artificial intelligence machine it will direct you to what to do good so i come back and i think i'm done so i exit and that is it thank you for watching my videos